Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get to cracking on this door. I really want to finish it up and get that one door completely done because there's a lot of hours that went into just that one door and a lot of different pieces that came off of it that had to be painted and everything like that. As I still got three more doors to do, there's a lot of time and there's a lot of body work that goes into it. And also I got my harness in for the transmission. So I want to go ahead and put that in there so that leak stops and let's just get to work, go to work. Let's go guys. All right, I'm down here with my brand new harness, taking this old one out of here, and the new one is right there. Let's put that on and be done with this transmission leak. again just got a couple other pieces here i'm waxing grease removing the door and one of the sides of the engine bay cover right there on the inside but still some of these pieces i'm going to keep gloss and some obviously not i'm going to go flat on the doors probably a gloss on some of these accent pieces like the air box i'm still going to keep gloss so we'll see let's get the wiping all this stuff down Fix my crack here, this piece right here, one of the sides of the engine cover there. That one had a huge crack. I tried to Gorilla Glue it at first just to get it to hold it. It wouldn't even hold it. It just kept coming back apart. So threw a little Bondo in there and got it sanded down. So these pieces are good to go. I'm gonna prime these as well as the door. And that those two little pieces, I got to hit with some paint. See, when I left it down there, end up yanking it off when I pulled it up which stinks, but oh well, I'll repaint those. So here we go, prime time. Looking good, those pieces are looking good. Hit the door again. See a little where I had a little run right there. I got to get that out, but I'm gonna get this thing. I think I need to build it up a little bit from where you could almost see the little dots all through here, just of the underlayment of the fiberglass itself. So I think it needs a couple more coats on these doors. Not like the plastic parts, which cover pretty easy. These doors are just way tougher to get coated. Flat clear. All right, this is one coat of the matte clear. Man, it looks really good, guys. It looks like um, still not all the way dry there. I probably still got seven more minutes of flashing. Man, I like it. it. It probably looks black on camera, but it's not. It's like a brownish color. Yeah. We'll see how this turns out compared to the gloss. These are the inside engine covers. They are done. They look so good. They're just really flat and they're not black. I know it looks black on camera. They're more of a brown. I'd hate to waste all that money on this color if you can't see all the shine that it has in it because it's drastically different with clear coat. But these pieces turned out very nice. And I think there'd be a good little offset too. I might just do some, like I'm gonna keep the inner part of the windows gloss and some other pieces gloss but um yeah i didn't get to the door today i ended up messing the door up with the primer i started sanding way too early 
Um, it does look good, Matt. It just does not have that pop. Know what I'm saying? Tell me what you guys think. I, I might try to unhook one of these and take it out in the sun so you guys can see it out there. Because I'm anxious to see it out there too. Well, I pulled this one out here in the sun. It's got a little sparkle in there, but nothing like clear coat had. These are just these little L brackets that go in the windows. Okay, it's the next morning. All right, guys, you can finally probably tell against black what that color looks like. So I'm finally getting out all these bags that I had got bolts for almost a year ago. So they're going to be all stainless bolts in there. I do have these plates, and I went and got them. I had spray painted them way back when. Probably, when I first, probably one of the first things I did because they were just bolt-on piece. But it is the armor protection. And they go on the sides right here. That one goes on that side. The other one's in the oven right now. I just, uh, not gonna powder cut them or anything. I just sanded them down. Cause I'm gonna shoot those gloss. How awesome would that be? It'll give you a big contrast. So I'm gonna do a hint of stuff in here gloss. Like I'm gonna keep these parts of the door gloss. And I've got a surprise coming for the other part of the door. I probably have one of the coolest parts of the paint job coming up on the door. If I can make it look good, I don't know. We'll see. But it should be pretty awesome. I think it will be. There's coat two. It's drenched. Come along. Time for clear. They're out here baking in the sun. Got the door over here. Um, oh yeah. That little bracket right there. It goes right here on the armor plate. Holds the hood support. I'm gonna let these parts sit here and bake in the sun for a little bit tape it up and show you what I'm about to do with the clear coat. I just hope I don't ruin it. If so, I guess I'll have to respray it for the third time. So I had the OG Humvee on the channel here. It was having a little trouble starting the other day. So I just put a brand new fuel filter in it. Check this out. Not anymore. Boom. Come on, Noah. I'm not going anywhere yet. You guys, I'm down here. Taping up the X. I want to make gloss the inset part of the X. And that's what I'm sitting here doing. I hope it's dry enough. Okay, there is my door. My other pieces. Let's get to clearing. Put a little gloss on this thing, shall we? Ooh, this looks so good. It is fairly tacky. Oh boy, don't do that.
Well, here's the door. Uh, the lighting does not look good here. I think that gloss is still a little wet. It does look good. There's a few places in the door that just messed up or I don't like. There was a little nana there and it bubbled up big time right there. That mm, makes me mad. There you go, guys. It's Here's this picture of the sunlight hitting it. Tell me what y'all think. How'd I, how'd I do? Took both of your opinions and combined it. Guys, it is thundering and lightning out here. It is pouring. But I'm going to go ahead and put the flat mat clear on this door. Now that, that I gave this two days for the gloss to dry so my tape doesn't yank it up. I did go a little too fast on this door. But, um, yep, I'm going to hit this door. And that's it. Just mat clear this section. And this door is done and fully ready to assemble. I do not have my tripod down here and I'm not running to get it. So you guys will see it when it's done. I'm not filming this section of it. I'm going to be in and out. In and out. Let's go. Time to pull the tape. It's terrible lighting in here, but you guys get the pick. Let's, um, well, uh, it is still pouring, guys. It's not going anywhere tonight. See you tomorrow. Okay, I couldn't help myself. There are the two rear doors. One done, one not. Haven't put any rivets back on there yet. Can you imagine how this is gonna pop with all those rivets? It's gonna be amazing. However, I literally just cleared this. I couldn't, I, I can't help myself. I really can't. It is definitely, that flat clear dries very fast. So it's dried at the touch. I really, really, really don't wanna scratch it, but might start putting some of the window pieces on. I'm just, this is the scariest part of this whole thing. I'm gonna use my little squeeze rivet gun. And if, you know, when they snap and the, you're still pushing, I just hope I don't go and scratch right across my brand new paint. But it looks great. It really, really does. Um, long way since it looked like that one. But that's what that used to look like right there. Last window trim. This stuff is tense. I have scratched it twice. Knock on wood, not bad, very fixable. Let's go.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, possibly the video. Matter of fact, yes, it is going to be the end of the video. So just keep post notifications on. Kind of got to wait on some other stuff here. Uh, weather stripping for one. Can't put the outside trim on it. But tell me what you guys think. I think it looks freaking awesome. So just let me know in the comments, guys. Keep your post notifications on. Tons more to do on the Humvee, of course, as usual. We got three more to do. And this one's not even 100%. Now put the window trim up. We'll probably finish up this one, begin the next video, and then just start moving on. Take it easy, guys.